Welcome back. This example is going to follow along with the branching example from the assignment guide this week. So a branch allows us to skip around in the instructions. Instead of like a normal program where we walk step by step through the list of instructions, executing each in turn, a branch allows us to jump ahead or even backwards in our code. So the particular example we're going to be looking at, kind of a spoiler here, is a program that does the absolute value. Now to do the absolute value, here's a basic algorithm. Get a number, if it's positive, print it out. If it's negative, we have to make it positive, then print it out. Now we're actually going to do a slightly different version of this. We're going to take this, and since having printed out is twice is kind of silly, we're going to break that off into a separate thing. So if it's positive, we want to skip over instruction three. So we could say, get a number. If it's positive, skip to four. Um, if it's negative, well, if it's not positive, um, well, it could be zero. But the other real possibility is negative. So I'm just going to say, otherwise, make it positive, and then print it out. So if we find a positive number, we'll go ahead and skip right to four. If we don't find a positive number, we'll make it positive, and then we'll print it out. Our program to actually do this in the little man computer is a little bit more complex because we have to do some more work in terms of storing values. Um, but this is the basic algorithm we're going to be running. So I've already copied the program over, and I have it set up. I'm going to hit reset to make sure I'm ready to go. And I'm going to start running it. So 901, we get some input. I'm going to do a run with a positive number, positive 8. So there it's in the accumulator. I'm about to store it to location 10. So great, there it is. In case we mess it up, we have it available to us. The next instruction, 806, branch if greater than or equal to 0. OK, so what this is going to do is look at the accumulator. The number there is 8 that is greater than or equal to 0. That's true. So we're going to branch to xx, which for 806, the xx is 06. So instead of going to the next instruction, number 3, we're going to bounce right down to 6, which is output. So there's our number, and we end the program. OK, so that was with a positive number. I'm going to reset things. I probably don't need to clear this out because we're going to overwrite it, but just to be safe, I'll do that. So here's the exact state we were in before. I'm going to start it up. This time, I'm going to put in a negative number, say negative 3. All right, we store that number. We check to see if we're greater than or equal to 0, and we are not. So we're not going to take this branch ahead to 6. We're going to keep going and run the next line of code, which says load location 11. And there happens to be 0 stored there. OK, so we've loaded the 0 that was stored as the part of the original program. Uh, we lost the negative 3, but we've got it stored down location 10. Now we're going to do subtract 210, subtract from the accumulator, the value in location 10. So we're going to subtract negative 3 from 0, which 0 minus negative 3 is positive 3. Well, we succeeded in making our value positive by subtracting it from 0. Now we're going to do a store right back to that same location. So we'll wipe out the negative 3 that we typed in with the positive 3. And now we'll output our answer and end the program. All right, so no matter what, we always end up doing this line 6 and 7. The big question is whether or not we hit this branch and decide to skip over the stuff in the middle. Now, anytime you've got a program that has to make a decision like this, am I going to run these lines of code or am I not, basically it's a sign that you're going to need some kind of branch, either the 6, 7, or 800 instructions. And how they differ is just when they branch. 600 says I'm always going to take a jump. 700 and 800 make a test, either if we're exactly equal to 0 or if we're greater than or equal to 0, the value in the accumulator, that is, um, to decide whether or not we want to skip ahead or back in the instruction order.